As you have probably heard by now, NASA is planning to return to the Moon by 2024. In December 2017, President Trump signed Space Policy Directive 1, which is basically an executive order outlining NASA's mission priorities. The new mission is called Artemis, and it's named after the Greek goddess of the moon and the twin sister of Apollo. It's been about 50 years since humans first set foot on the moon, and since that historic time, space exploration has experienced tremendous progress. This time, NASA is going to put the first woman ever and the next man on the lunar surface. Only 12 humans, all male, have ever walked on the moon, and they were all American. The last person to walk on the lunar surface was Eugene Cernan in December 1972 during the Apollo 17 mission. Aside from a still undetermined budget, NASA said it will need to launch about 37 moon missions until 2028. Of the 37 missions, 15 will take place before astronauts get to the moon in 2024. The 16th mission, titled Artemis 3, will be the second crewed flight of the Artemis program that will land people on the moon's surface. Astronauts will board NASA's Orion crew capsule, which is set to be launched atop NASA's new space launch system Mega Rocket. The capsule will bring astronauts to lunar orbit, where they will dock with the lunar space station called the Gateway. From there, the mission crew members will descend to the surface in a commercial landing vehicle. No one really knows who will build that lunar lander, but NASA recently asked 11 companies to design prototype landers. After Artemis 3, NASA plans to launch four additional crewed missions to the lunar surface between 2025 and 2028. This pioneering mission will definitely help lead to a long-term sustainable human presence on the moon. The lunar landing will also be a great opportunity to test NASA's technology and capabilities before carrying out a mission to land on Mars by 2033.